Beautiful. Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. In today's episode, I'll be fishing land-based from the mighty Motu River mouth. The target species for today is the people's fish, the humble kahawai. Hopefully, I manage to catch a few, and if I do, I plan on doing a bit of a catch and cook. Once I arrive at the car park, I lock up the ravenous four, stash the keys for security, grab all my bits and pieces and start making my way down the track. It's only about a five minute walk until you hit the beach and a further 10 minutes down the beach until you get to the river mouth. Once I arrive, I pick a sweet spot to call base camp, pop my gear down and head over to the river mouth to start casting. Now today in the bottom of my tackle box, all I could find was one spinner and it's the small hex wobbler. After the first half a dozen casts, I quickly realised that this lure is going to be a little bit too light for this mission. So I come up with a plan B. I switch over to the heaviest jig head in my tackle box and one of my favourite glowing gurned soft baits. This gets me a little bit of extra distance and it doesn't take too long until it gets absolutely smashed and I'm hooked up to a decent fish. Yoo-hoo! Hooked up! Yeah! yeah. Look at that! Absolute beauty. Right. Pop this first one back. Off he goes. This place has been on my big list of dream fishing destinations for quite a long time. So to finally be here and have landed my first fat Motu Kahawai is quite an achievement and I'm pretty stoked to tick this one off. Right. I waste no time in firing another cast out there because the next part of the plan is to catch a few eaters. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful sized fresh kahawai. Absolutely, Ooh. absolutely beautiful kahawai. Right, I'm going to dispatch this guy, bleed him, and uh, pop him underneath my bag. Now, the clock's ticking now that I've decided to keep this one because I want to keep him beautiful and fresh. Okay. All right, 
right guys, my lure's not quite heavy enough, I wasn't getting out far enough, so I've designed a little bit of a Franken lure. Um, I've just added my little, tiny little hex wobbler that's too light here for here as well, but I've joined it together with my soft bait, um, just with the split ring, so hopefully, hopefully it gets out a bit further. on the Franken lure. Oh! Oh! Lost them right at the beach. No! Well, there's a whole heap of them out there. Hopefully I can get into another one. Yes! We're on. Well, oh, that's a big one. Yahoo! Got him. A beautiful one. Big kahawai. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful kahawai. I'm still going to keep fishing for a bit, but I've decided to clean up these couple of fish to keep them nice and fresh for the table, and I've also decided I'm going to uproot my base camp and move further back down the beach, because from here I can see a couple of local guys that seem to be doing very, very well. Curiosity's got the better of me, and I want to know what they're doing different, so I've decided I'm just going to cruise over there and ask them. I noticed they were slaying the fish, so came over and had a little bit of a chat to them and pretty much as I suspected, they're just using a heavier lure. Now I didn't have a heavier lure, but one of these legends has very kindly lent me this one. So I'm going to tie that on and give it a go, see if I can't get into some better fish. Cheers local lads, you legends. Right, see you later Frank and Lure. Did alright, but it's time for bigger and better things. Straight away, first cast. Thank you, bro. Cheers, brother. Cheers to the boys for that one, epic fish. Back on, oh, got off. Bro, I just wanted to say thank you before you go, bro. Chef for the lure, bro. I appreciate it, eh? Legendary. Yeah, game changer. <laughs> can get out there a bit further now, I can get some fish. Yeah. Bro, pleasure to meet you, bro. Sweet, I'm gonna carry on for a bit. I'm gonna try and catch like another one or two. 
Alright, Chair, nice to meet you fellas. Yo. Yeah, bro, of course. Nice to meet you, bro. Have a good day. It's a real big bugger. Yeah. Woohoo! It's a great fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. It's like a salmon. Look at that. Look at that. That is like a salmon. Look at the girth on that beautiful fish. Absolutely stunning. Ah, Woo. well, that's it, mission complete. Right, I'm just going to clean up the last few of these fish, pack up my bag, and then uh, head back to the ravenous. And I'm going to try and find a nice little spot where I can park up and cook some of these beautiful fish for a feed. Yum! Once I've cleaned up my last few fish, I tuck them in the shade and head off in search of the perfect stick. Because the traditional way to carry a fish off the beach here is by finding an appropriate stick and threading it through the gills and out the mouth of your fish, forming an awesome fish holder. So you want something not too thick and something not too brittle, and hopefully it's got a bit of a branch on the end to stop all your fish from sliding off. This one here looks ideal. this mean as the care for the next person. Whew. Perfect for the kahis. Where should I pop that? There you go if you want the meanest stick there it is. Once I've got the ravenous all loaded back up, I cruise just down the road to a sweet little spot I found earlier where I've decided I'm going to park up and turn one of these beautiful kahoa into a bit of lunch.
Once I've picked out the perfect plate, I take it down to the riverside, give it a good old scrub, and then set it in place. Then I grab out my chilli bin, choose a fish, and take them down to the riverside to whip the fillets off. There's really not too much to explain about today's recipe as I've decided to keep it pretty simple because as soon as I laid eyes on this fat salmon lookalike of a kahawai, I knew he was destined to be sashimi. Kahawai is extremely abundant and it does make amazing snapper bait and maybe that's partly why it's often overlooked as a table fish. But I have to say, when it's this fatty and this fresh, it's fantastic no matter how you prepare it, but I highly rate it as fresh sashimi. If you ever find yourself making your way down the east coast, I highly recommend stopping off at the Motu River mouth and casting a spinner to catch a few kahawai. There's lots of friendly locals, it's an absolutely beautiful place and it's a quick easy fishing mission. To all of you legends at home, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you do enjoy my content, remember to like, subscribe and hit the little notification button. That way they'll let you know as soon as I drop something new. Cheers and tight lines.